We are out of Papago Park and another beautiful day here in Arizona into the month of May, which doesn't happen very often. And that's what we're going to talk about right now is the weather and how it's about to change here in Arizona. Joining us is a consulting meteorologist. His name is Johnny Malloy. Thanks for doing this. Absolutely. First of all, you're an Arizona native. So how rare is this that this late into the year we're having this great weather? Oh, my God. This is unbelievably fantastic. Uh, May is typically one of our driest months heading before the summer season. Right. So we'll take any rain we can get. Yeah, absolutely. And those those few drops of water we're getting. But for the people that are new to Arizona, we're going to see some dramatic changes. It's going to warm up pretty quickly. When do you expect that to happen? It really could happen in a matter of days. This is a little unusual, and it's really because of a passing weather system. So once this is a- exits out the door, we're back up to the heat. So it, we could be triple-digit heat within a few days, really. So when that happens, then we all in Arizona, we can't wait for the monsoon to get a little break and hopefully some rain. <laughs> what, what are the thoughts in the community right now? I know you're looking at data. Yeah. Are we going to see a little bit more rain this time around? It's been a little hit and miss in the last few years. What are you expecting for the monsoon? Yeah, actually, we do have a better shot at a more decent monsoon coming up. And the reason for that, ironically, we had a very dry winter, very dry winter in spring. And so there's good correlation that points to a more active monsoon season when that happens. And sure enough, it's one of our driest winters. So, yes, we're leading into a a more active monsoon. You know, the joke in uh, the media is that to be a meteorologist, you only have to be right. You're guessing. You know, we all. But I know there's a science behind this. What are the factors that you look at when you're predicting the weather, when you're looking at where we're going to be and when we're going to get there? What are the factors that look at the monsoon and predictions for more rain? What is what are the factors that tell you that? Yeah, well, the monsoon happens every year. That's guaranteed. It's just really the matter of the strength of the monsoon. So coming ahead of the the monsoon within the spring months, what we want to look at is the landscape around us, particularly snowpack. If you look at a satellite image of the west right now, there's just no snowpack, especially the desert southwest. What that's gonna allow us to do is heat up the land quickly, and that's what you want for the monsoon. So that's why we kind of anticipate a quicker onset and stronger monsoon season. And once you get that circulation going, that's what brings the moisture into the desert southwest. So a couple of years ago, we had a very, very wet winter, which was unexpected. If you remember, we had very high levels of rain, a lot of snowpack. Yeah. Yeah. So is that what contributed to the monsoon being a little bit less dramatic because we had had such a pack and we weren't heating up the landscape so much? That's definitely a correlation. Yes. So your expectations, this beautiful day we're having here in the midweek, but by the time we get to the weekend and beyond, is this the last one? Is this the last reprieve? before those hot summer months? <laughs> you know, we obviously want more of this type of weather uh, throughout May and the rest of spring, and it's possible. Uh, so far this spring, we've had a progressive pattern. And what that means is we've had opportunities for Pacific storms coming in from the west, just like today in the last couple of days, actually. So it's not to say we, we're not done with this yet, but really the expectation climatologically is yes, this is gonna be exiting and the monsoon should start showing good signs of uh, the heating and whatnot by June. And I know you get asked this because you're the one that's talking about the weather. What should people that are new to Arizona be ready for? I moved here 30 years ago, and no matter what they told me, they still couldn't prepare me for what the summers are like here. It's brutal, right? It's it's the heat. It truly is. So when you look at the monsoon, you know, we talk about flash flooding, which is obviously a hazard that we want to pay attention to on a local basis but it's the heat that's the number one hazard and it's the greatest cause of mortality in this area unfortunately so when you come to arizona in the summer expect the heat and prepare for it yeah we're here at papago park there's people hiking everywhere in this very mild day what people are prepared for is how quickly you dehydrate you know they always say if you're thirsty you've already waited too long to drink and that's when people get into trouble physically because they're not prepared and all of a sudden they get overcome very quickly right very true yeah the heat around here is sneaky. The reason is because it's all the time. It's a constant threat in the background. And so not only that, but when we're in this urban environment here, we don't cool off, right? The urban heat island effect is very real when it comes to Phoenix. So when we don't have those cooler temperatures overnight, it just really keeps that heat going from a nonstop basis. And yes, you're right. If you're thirsty, it's too late. You got to hydrate all the time. We've had some record setting heat in the last couple of years and record days of over 100. Are we going to set records again this year or is it expected to maybe moderate a little bit of we to get a bit of a reprieve in the high temps? You know, it's it depends on the monsoon itself. So when we talk about a stronger monsoon, that's good for moisture import. The issue though is where that top of that monsoon sits on top of you, that's where you can get a lot of heat. So that's an issue we had last summer where that high pressure associated with the monsoon circulation was right on top of us. So we didn't get the rain, but we got the heat. So that is still potential this coming monsoon. 
Johnny, I love the information. I, I mean, I love Arizona like everybody else does. I'm glad we've gotten this little bit of a reprieve, but the information is terrific, and I think uh, people need to follow your advice, and let's pray for a little more rain. Absolutely, yes. All right, we'll be back. Coming up, the NFL...